This story recap is about a king who was born weak. Then he will prove that he is capable of being a good king. At the beginning of this movie recap we see a small group of monkeys, whose king, Simon, becomes a father. The king came out and stood with his men waiting for good news. Then came his advisor Vladimir, who told the species there was a problem. The king did not understand his words. Therefore he went to the queen's room, and he was happy to see his cute son, who was strong and healthy like him. Then his counselor showed him his second son, which was very weak. After showing him, he said that he was born first, and according to ancestral theories, the firstborn becomes king. The king was sad to see his first son, because he was small and weak, and he knew men would not accept him as their king. Then came the witch. Then she gave the king some hope and asked him not to worry, and it's not his fault. This is actually nature's fault, and he is so weak that no one would ever accept him as king. So the king asked Vladimir to kill him, and when Vladimir tried to kill him, when he saw his innocence, he changed his mind and he didn't kill him. And when he left him, that prince began to cry. Then Vladimir taught him to walk, and then you played with him. Time passes and the prince has grown old. Physically weak as he was, Prince Edward still looked like a child, and he also worked as a child. But he was curious about everything. Once Edward was playing with his friend Yan, then he broke a twig and asked Yan to blow air into it. And when Yan blew air into it, it expanded just like a balloon. Then a bird flew in and exploded. And just when the bubble burst, the stick stuck to Yan's nose. Edward was really happy when he saw this, and he took that stick and stuck some leaves on it, because these things were like magic to them. They were playing, but at that moment they heard some noise, and when they heard that, they both went there. And when they went there, they saw that a game was being played, and there the king's son did really well. And when he saw it, they all cheered him up, and the king was also happy with his son. Then the game started again. Vania, the king's youngest son, gave his best in this game. And when the ball, Yan came, Yan couldn't resist, and he jumped down to catch the ball. Edward jumped with him too, and both went down with the ball. But the ball slipped out of their hands and went into the hole. When they saw him, they all surrounded him. Edward somehow managed to get out, but they beat Yan brutally. When Edward saw this, he was immediately given the stick, and made it sticky after blowing air into it. And then he pulled the ball out of the hole. When he pulled out the ball, everyone was shocked after seeing it. Then Vania came, who started talking to Edward. Then the witch and Vladimir looked at his feet, and they were really shocked, because their legs looked similar. Vania took the ball from Edward, and started the game again. As sticky as the ball was, it stuck to his hands, and everyone was trying to get the ball out of his hands. But no matter how hard they tried, they still failed. Finally, the monkey managed to get the ball out, and just as he took the ball out, he hit a tree. And the ball hit the king's head, and it stuck there. Vladimir tried to get the ball out of his head, and just as he pulled the ball out, then the king's hair was also pulled out. The king was sad after this event. Both of them were busy talking but then the monkey came. Whoever said that, the king summoned them. Hearing this, Edward was happy, and he went with Yan to the king. The king asked Edward about it, he knew magic. So he asked him to show his magic. Then Edward pulled some leaves from the tree, and put it in the king's head, and it looked like a crown. And after seeing that, everyone was really happy. To show his face to the king, he collected some rainwater in a leaf. Then we'll see, which, he took advantage of it and left. And here Edward asked the king to see his face in the water. And just as the king looked into his face, when he saw himself, he got scared, because he had never seen himself before. Edward then told King Simon that there was nothing to fear, and asked him to look there again. This time he was happy to see him. Then Edward made a swing for the king, and asked him to sit there. The witch called a lot of bees there, and let them attack everyone there. Here the king enjoyed the swing, but then they were attacked by a lot of bees. Then chaos spread there, and the king fell. After seeing this, Vania also pushed Edward down, and then the king got angry with Vania. Vania was saddened by this and then he left. We will see Edward there, who was injured after falling. Then Yan came there, who tried to help him, and because of the great distance he could not help him. So Edward continued, and then he fell into a hole. And when Edward got out of that hole, then he saw two ostriches, which were beautiful. And then he saw a lot of wild animals there. And when Edward saw them, he was really happy. Then he saw some wild wolves coming towards him. So he tried to run away, but he ran backwards, because he never ran with two legs. But somehow he turned and ran back and managed to save himself. Here they were all looking at their faces in the water that Edward had given. Then they noticed Edward, and they saw it, many wild wolves were chasing him. Edward then ran and got into a group of rhinos, and when the rhinos saw the wolves, they also started to run. And when, the rhinos were behind Edward, and when the king saw this, he went himself to help him. 
The king was injured while rescuing Edward, and due to many injuries, the king breathed his last. And before he died, he told him that he was his son, and Vania is his little brother. After hearing this, Vania was not happy at all. Vania took his father's dead body and left. When Edward found out, he is the son of Simon. He was shocked. After the death of the king, Vania was set to become the next king, and everyone looked happy to see Vanius as the new king. But Edward and Yan were still there in the jungle. Then the clouds started to rumble, and the lighting hit the tree, and then the tree started to burn, because Edward was curious about things, so he was happy to see the fire, and then hold the twig that was lit. Then he burned his hand, because he didn't know he could be burned by fire. Then he started playing with fire. Then a massive storm formed, and it was very powerful, and that storm swept away everything that came before it. Then Edward also got inside the storm. There he met a beautiful female monkey, and her name was Lucy. Edward tried to get closer to Lucy, but he failed. But somehow he managed to get out of the storm. And after some time, Lucy also managed to get out. And then she fell off the cliff. Edward tried to get her out with a rope. As the rope was weak, it broke. And just as they were about to fall off the cliff, then Yan came there holding the rope. And just as they were about to climb up, they fell again due to Yan's foolishness. But Edward somehow managed to get them both out. And when Lucy came to her senses, she saw Edward in front of her. And when she saw him, she got scared. So she started running. And Edward followed her. And after much effort he got to her. And they both started talking. And then they both enjoyed it very much. And at night, Edward lit a twig with the help of lava. And Lucy was afraid when she saw it. Edward then explained to her and then took her to the home tree. And after seeing that, everyone was happy, because Edward spread light there at night. Then Vania came there, and he considered fire a danger, so he asked Edward to leave them. But Edward tried to explain to Vania that fire is not harmful, but it is very useful. And then he lit a lot of sticks and showed them. But the witch motivated everyone against Edward, and that's why everyone was beating him and asking him to leave. So they both entered the cave, where they saw the wolf, but Edward used fire to scare him. And they both spent the night there. Edward used a lot of sticks and spread the light there. The next morning, Lucy and Edward went hunting. And at night, when Lucy hit another rock with another rock, then it sparked a fire. And then Edward turned it into a fire. And then they go hunting every day. And they spent the night in that cave. One day, Lucy and Edward were eating raw prey there. Then Edward placed the dead prey in the fire. And just when the prey was cooked in the fire, his scent wafted throughout the jungle and everyone was excited to eat it, and they all approached Edward to eat it. Lucy tried to scare them, but Edward stopped her, and then they all ate together, and in that cave he spent the night, and everyone had a great time. Everyone there was happy, and there sat King Vania alone in that tree. After living with Edward, they were all intelligent, and they burned big logs of wood and made a fire there. The place was slowly developing. Everyone there was really happy. Then the witch used her dark magic and sent bees to attack Edward, and then they all attacked them. And that made a lot of chaos there. And because of the chaos, all the buildings fell. And everything was destroyed. This pissed everyone off. And then they heard the witch's voice. So everyone there took a gun and went to kill the witch. And when they got to that tree, they decided to burn it. But Edward tried to stop them. And when he heard their noise, King Vania also came thither. And after they saw him, their anger reached its peak. And Vladimir asked two of his men to cut the tree. And just then, they started cutting down the tree. Liquid oozed from the tree. After I saw that tree he was cutting, King Vania attacked them. And then the fight started between them. And during the fight the tree was set on fire. Due to the fire, Queen Medela was hit by a tree. So Edward went there to help her. And while rescuing her, Edward got into trouble. Edward asked everyone for help. But they all got scared of the fire and left. Then Edward saw Vania. And he asked him for help. And the witch was also imprisoned in the tree there. And she died because of the fire in that tree. Here Vania saved Edward. But there at home he was now destroyed. Vania now realized his mistake. And then he confessed to Edward that he and the witch wanted to kill him. And now he accepted Edward as his big brother. And then they both hugged. But they were also sad after seeing their home destroyed. After seeing everyone sad, Edward told them about the new home. And then they left for their new home. And after a long journey they reached a beautiful jungle. And after seeing the scenery, everyone was excited. And here the movie recap ends. If you liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.